Hello dear friends, welcome to this video. In this video, I will be covering the introduction part of isometries of RE. There are going to be the series of videos which will cover the basic fundamental and some theorem based on isometries of RE. Before we start talking about isometries, there are some pre-requirements which would be needed for the entire series of the video. The first pre-requirement would be to know what is the distance between vectors in RE. I think you might be knowing it, but not, please note it down. The distance between two vectors in Rn is nothing but given by this formula. The distance between x, y is same as norm of x minus y, where x and y are any two vectors in Rn. It is given by under root x1 minus 5n square plus x2 minus y2 square plus dot 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 xn minus 5n square. So this gives you a Euclidean distance. I would be more precise, right? This gives you a Euclidean distance because one who is learning metric spaces, they must know there are different ways to define the distance. This is nothing but the standard distance that we are working on Rn. That is nothing but Euclidean distance given by norm of x minus y. Apart from it, the second pre-requirement that I will be needing is the dot product. Very basic fundamental which is also called as a scalar product given the two vector x and y the dot product is nothing but x1 y1 plus x2 y2 plus dot 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 x and y right you need to multiply the coordinate wise and add them if these two fundamentals are there with you i can start talking about something called as an isometry the isometries of rn is the function f from rn to rn so when we say isometries of Rn, that means I am defining both the things. My domain and codomain both are nothing but my Rn. So it is a kind of a function with some special property. What is that property? The property is very simple. Whatever is that function, that function will preserve the distance between the vector. What do I mean by it? Let me just try to visualize this. We here with a diagram. Suppose if I have this as my R2, my domain, I have a point X over here, I have another point Y over here. What I do is I apply a function F from R2 to R2. Again, I have an R2. Now this X get mapped to some other point. Let me just say F of X over here. And this y get mapped to somewhere f of y for an example over here. Let it be. What does this isometry means? Isometry means whatever was the distance between this two point x and y means the straight line joining it in R2. That would be same as the straight line joining this f of x and f of y. So this distance and this distance would be equal. And if it is true for every x and y pair, then we say that such a function is an isometry. So basically, we say that norm of x minus y, that is nothing but distance between x and y is same as distance between f of x and f of y. And this thing is true for all x bar and y bar or x and y vector inside your Rn. So if you have a function from Rn to Rn which preserves a distance that is called as an isometry. What are the basic example of an isometry that we can see in any Rn to Rn map? Some standard example are nothing but identity map, right? Since identity map will map the same vector to the, to the same vector, the distance would be preserved. The negation, that means uh, if I give you the f of x get mapped to minus x, then definitely f of y would be same as minus y and we can see the norm of x minus y would be same as norm of f of x minus norm of f of y. What I request to the student is you are supposed to prove this because it will take two lines. But writing mathematics is the most important thing. Understanding concept is the first step. Second step is to how to write what you have learned how to verify what you have learned, right? So the second was nothing but the negation map. It would be your task to prove that whether it is satisfying the definition or not. 
and the third is nothing but the translation what do i mean by translation let me just try to prove for this translation wala part okay the translation translation means what you are just translating every vector for an example suppose i define my f of x is same as x plus a where a is some fixed vector so i am translating every vector by a i can say this if i say norm of x minus y that could be same as norm of what i can do i can subtract a to balance i will add a right and that is same as what that is same as norm of x okay i will add over here and i will subtract over here that would be more precise and that would give me what is required x plus a i can take minus outside from this vector i get y plus a that is same as what x plus a is same as f of x and this is same as f of y right so from this what we can conclude we can conclude translation is an isometry right so translation is also an isometry identity and negation is also an isometry for negation i will request student to write the proof it is just a two line there are multiple more example of isometries we will slowly see more and more examples but for now let me just consider one of the theorem in this video the theorem is very beautiful theorem it tells you that composition of two isometry is again an isometry so it is trying to tell you that if you consider the set of all isometry then the set is closed under composition closed under composition means if i take any two isometries i will be there still inside the same set set of all isometries right so let me just try to prove this right we'll proving this theorem together i want to do the proof of this how i can start the proof to start the proof what i would be doing is i will be starting with this proof okay so let me consider two isometries left my f and g b any two isometry on rn so that means basically what i have written indirectly is my f and g are the functions from rn to rn and apart from it that what i am telling is my norm of x minus y is same as norm of f of x minus f of y and again since g is also isometry so norm of x minus y would be same as norm of g of x minus g of y and this statement is true for all x and y inside your r what would be your claim your claim is to prove that the composition is also an isometry your claim is to prove that your f composite g is an isometry see if i want to prove something is an isometry what i am supposed to prove so i will be proving that sorry that means what i will be proving that is to show that my that f composite g preserves the distance so f composite g of x minus f composite g of y this must be same as norm of x minus y right i need to prove this so what i start with i start with my lhs part i consider it and try to prove it okay so what i do i just consider my norm of f composite g i want to consider this right so norm of f composite g can i say this is same as f of g of x right we can write it like this similarly this also can be written as this this norm what we know that f preserves the distance right so whenever you have f of x minus f of y that is same as norm of x minus y 
So can I say this is same as what? This is same as I can remove f. What I can see is if I remove x, still it is fine. So if I remove this x part, still it would be fine. Right? So if I remove that x part, still it is fine. So I can write over here that is same as g of x minus g of y. The reason for this is since f is isometric. Right? I just write isometric. Now this is direct result. Now what is this? Norm of g of x minus g of y, right? So this is same as what? Norm of x minus y. And hence whatever was required is proved that composition of two isometry became an isometry. This is a wonderful theorem. We here I will let student check what happens when you add two isometry. Will it be an isometry? You have to answer me this question in the comment section, right? You have to verify if you add two isometries, whatever is the resulting function, will it again become an isometry or not? Right? Please try this result. If you are good enough to try this, go for subtraction, multiplication and division also. Right? You can try those results. And in the next video, I will be talking about isometries fixing origin. So isometry with some extra property would serve something better. Right? So stay tuned to this channel, subscribe to it, like this video and share it with your friend. Okay? I hope you understand. But if you still want to ask anything, be free to ask in the comment section. Okay? Bye-bye.